so today we ventured out to a charity shop that I've never been to before. Uh, if anyone's local, it is the Salvation Army Donation Centre uh, near Colic or in Colic near Colic near where the car boot sale was at the race course. It's near there. Um, it's really big. There's a lot of stuff. It's quite jumbly and rummagey, which is the way that I love charity shops. Um, I like to dig and see what I can find. Um, and the prices were good, so yeah, I, one I will definitely go back to. So we went there and then we went to a couple of other little ones um, just on the way back. Uh, so I will just show you what I found. Uh, okay, so first, two little lampshades, just little round. I assume they go on like candle, the candle bulbs. They were 50p each for those two. Um, some of this stuff's from a different shop. So these were from another charity shop. There's three of these. So uh, one, two, and three. I paid three pounds for the three, just little sort of studio pottery type cups, which are really lovely. Uh, this one was from a weird charity shop. Um, it was very cramped, um, really hard to look around, really busy actually as well, but quite expensive. So this is a Wittard's mug, but it was one ninety nine, which I thought was quite a lot. They had a couple of others, but they were like two pound, two pound fifty. Um, I think the other one. So I grabbed that one, but that was it from that shop. Uh, so from the Salvation Army shop, I got five of these plates. They are Royal Dalton uh, Gordon Ramsay maize plates. Uh, there's five of them, which is a shame, <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. See how they go. They were 50p per plate, I think it was. Yeah, so I didn't think that was bad, so I'll give them a go. Um, Okay, from a different charity shop, I got a couple of good things. So these are kickers, sort of Mary Janes. They were five ninety nine. They're in really good condition, barely anywhere, um, and they're a size five. So yeah, quite pleased with those. Uh, not sure white's everyone's colour, but give them a go. Uh, same shop. My mum spotted this, she'll watch this and she'll get annoyed if I don't say that she found this one, not me. Um, <laughs> this is a Pachamama uh, jumper, it's really good, it's a really good size, um, it's 100% wool and it was only £8 and it has a little flower on the back and a big flower on the front. Um, yeah, I don't think it's got any holes that I've noticed, I have given it a quick check, uh, but yeah. These ones with the design seem to fetch, you know, a decent amount of money, over 100 so yeah, thanks mum, very pleased. <laughs> uh, same shop, uh, these Oliver Bonas uh, placemats, I paid, she sold them individually, so I had to pay a pound per placemat, uh, so four pounds. I have had a set before um, that sold very quickly, I can't remember how much for. Um, but originally they would have been 29.50, which is quite a lot for some placemats. Uh, so yeah, they're really nice. They've got like fruit design with the tassels on. Uh, yeah, so you know, it was a bit more than I wanted to pay, but they should sell quickly. Um, mugs from the donation shop were three for a pound, so I got two of these Mellowware. Yeah, different mates. That's a Gaiden one, and that's just a mellower. Uh, mugs. And then I got a set. I didn't look them up, but they were cheap, so I thought I'd get them. These are color Um, with like a sort of a gold design. There's six of those. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Now that says, hey, they are the same. They are the same, but this one says Kilncraft on the bottom, and this one says Colorol. Oh no, it does say no, it does say Kilncraft. It's just a different stamp. 
I've not seen that one before. Um, so there's six of those. Yeah. Uh, so I'll pop those down there. And we'll keep going. They had a big tub of like fabric -y bits that were, everything was 50p. So there's a just a seersucker sort of cotton tablecloth. Uh, pop that there. I got these Joseph or Joseph Siebel. Yeah, Siebel. Siebel? Siebel. Um, metallic shoes. They were five pounds. Again, they're in really good condition. Um, so I'm hoping maybe like 30 or something would be nice. We'll see. Uh, this I got because it was cute. It's not really worth anything, <laughs> but I'll pop it on for a fiver. Um, it's a notepad holder. It's designed by, what was his name? Yakov Kaufman for Monkey Bus. Uh, and they, they have a few little designs, but it's got little like gold teeth. It was only 50p, so that's okay. Uh, these two were from the other day. My mum and my sister found them for me. So there is a Winnie the Pooh mug, I think it was 75p. I had a different one recently, it sold straight away, so we'll see if that one does the same. Uh, and then this Eeyore one was £2, but it's one of the 3D kind of ones, uh, which seemed to go for a little bit more so yeah that's nice uh, these I don't know these are all Fimo they're all unused all sealed they were three pound fifty for the set and there are one two three four five six seven eight there are nine in there and they're quite expensive I think to buy individually so I'll see if I can sell them as a bundle otherwise you know family will use them <laughs> Uh, what else have we got? A few more bits of melamine. This one has a chip, but it was in a set. Um, so there's those two, which were nice. It was two pounds for the three. So uh, those two are good, and that one's a really nice shape, nice colour. And that one, that one was only fifty p. So interesting price. <laughs> else have we got we have got a glass rolling pin that was two pounds made in England um, I think that's Pyrex isn't it is that Pyrex I think so I thought that was nice oh yeah JAJ yeah it says it on the side but I'm not sure what they go for and then there's a lot of this <laughs> I don't know these are really long there's four panels uh, they're sort of I don't know, like 80s maybe? They've got a bit of gold in them. I don't know if that's going to show up. Um, but they were 50p a panel. Uh, the hems on all of them have come undone. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I will sew them up. I think I will just sell them as is. And then people can either use the fabric or they can fix them themselves. Because um, I'll never fix them. That's just, you know, I buy things and then intend to fix them and then I don't uh, so yeah four of those uh, this I've never bought before this is ghost it was five pounds um, it's a hundred percent silk but it's like a jersey kind of silk so it's got a bit of a stretch to it uh, but I'm trying to look at the clothes a bit more and just give it a go if it's worth, if it's worth my time, sort of thing. But I looked through so many of the clothes there, and I could not find very much. But you know, that I thought was an alright price. So we'll see how that one goes. Uh, this is a dormer um, single duvet and matching pillow. Uh, it's got the big floral design on the other side like that sort of a poppy design I think it was 50p for the two I think I can't remember uh, and then I think this is the last thing that I got this is a vintage St Michael uh, wool coat but really nice sort of browny textured sort of wool uh, yeah pure new wool 
to a size 18. It won't quite be that, but um, it's still a good size. And that was £10. So, yeah, I had a quick Google and someone had managed to sell something very, very similar for 99 I think it was. So, I'll give it a go and we'll see. But it's really nice. I like that. Lovely. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So, not bad for a quick trip this morning. Uh, so, there's another one, apparently, another of the Salvation Army big ones um, in Sutton in Ashfield which is a similar sort of distance from us so I think next week we might try that one and see what we can find see if it's just as rummagey and fun um, but yeah I would definitely make it a regular a regular place to visit they had so many things being donated while we were there so yeah turn, out, turn around must be quite quick and they were putting loads of stuff out while we were there so yeah no it's good uh, thanks for watching uh, yeah, I'll be back again soon with another haul.